guy in front of me at the grocery store was buying some condoms. And uh, the checkout girl said, do you want a bag with that? And he said, no, nah, she's not that ugly. Canceled. Hey, welcome back to our stupid directions to Corbin. I'm Ray. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks on Patreon, follow the account, subscribe if you haven't, and hit that juicy like button to help out the old j -j 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 jizzy algorithm. What? You said it, not me. Ah, uh, sorry. Hey, what Sex it, on the brain. What is, what movie is this? Girls of Kama Sutra? No. <laughs> <laughs> Better answer. No, it's a very small moment in a, in a movie that's out right now. Buffin. She just goes. <laughs> what is it? Banshees of Inishirin. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. gotcha. Yeah. Uh, today we're doing a movie review. And if you're like, oh, I thought Classic Mutual done. Classic Mutual done. It was. Uh, but, but this is one I needed to get to before uh, Rick was out of town uh, for, for a week. So we got a little behind. But... It's only a few days, so get over it. Uh, <laughs> we got a little behind, like babies. Yes. They have little behinds. Uh, but today we are doing the Telugu uh, classic, uh, Swathi Mathyam. Sounds right to me. Right? Close enough for hand grenades, and it's interesting. Yeah. The end. Uh, the... Oh, R.I.P. Om Shanti to uh, the director. Uh, K, and forgive me if I'm mispronouncing this, but um, Vishwanath. Um. And we, we're not doing this because he passed. They just they, We were already watching this, and literally right after I was done, I went to Twitter, and I saw you know Kamal Hassan and so many people posting about his death, and I was like, oh, wow, geez. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, this is not like a, a planned thing. It's just that, that's what happened. Uh, I'm very sorry for his family. It looks like he lived a long, happy life. Yeah, Obviously. he was 92, wasn't yeah, he? He's yeah. Really, really old. Um, and this is not the only film of his we've seen. We've seen, I can't pronounce their names. Right. But the one where Kamal Hassan <laughs> was a dancer, and then also the one where the uh, guy was a classical singer as well. Uh, all very difficult names for this yeah, white boy. Yeah, it's always say. me too. Uh, but this is also composed by Raja Sir. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, did he, he did the screenplay for the, the director did the screenplay for this one as well. Yeah. Uh, as well. And then it's starring uh, Kamal Hassan and Radhika. And it says Alu Arjun. Was he the kid? Is that... Because he's only listed as actor. Yeah. It doesn't give him the credit in there. And when they roll credits, it's not in English, so we don't know what... I'm guessing... He was the kid? Yeah. I'm guessing he was the kid. 86. Yeah, it'd be about... Uh, be about five years old, How old do you maybe. think he is? 37? A little Arjun? Yeah, late 30s. I I put him at thirty eight. Forty. Oh, he's forty. So absolutely, my suspicion is that's him, he's the kid. Yeah, that's that's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. That's wild. Anyways, obviously, this came out in 1986. Uh, so this will be a 100 spin spoiler review, obviously. Uh, if you haven't watched it, go watch it. Come back. And Rick, your initial thoughts on the film, please. I so badly wish I could tell you I, I enjoyed it and liked it. And it was my cup of tea, especially in light of the fact that, number one, we love Kamal Hassan. Number two, uh, this director being legendary and having just passed. But for me, this was not my cup of tea. Uh, and and for those of you who love the film, I don't want to pinpoint too many of the things as to why I, I didn't like it. I will talk about those things, but it just, for me, never engaged me. And there's a lot of things that I had problem with, and I can get into them if we need to. But I, it, it this was one for me that I didn't like. Hmm. Uh, no, I actually uh, enjoyed this film. There was, it's, I think it got a little long, uh, for sure. Uh, two hours 40 about mm -hmm. for this film. I mean, it's a classic, so it's hard to really rip it for that, because uh, yeah. I expect most classics to be about three hours. Yep. Um, but it, it it did, I think at certain parts, it did drag. But I, 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 I did enjoy the story. I thought it was actually very similar. Not, very different films, but almost a similar concept to like a PK a little bit of, of a guy. Obviously, in that one, he's an alien. Right. This one, he's a, a mentally, uh, I don't know if he has... Autism or, or what he has. Yeah, one description said he has autism. Another description said he had brain injury when he was a kid and it made him a simpleton. So I don't know yeah, what they I, were going I for. I don't know what it was, but obviously, and then 
but he tried to come up with different things to help out the, these persons from different religions and all that kind of stuff. And so uh, that that concept was was nice and everything. So I, I did enjoy that. And overall, I, I enjoyed the film. I thought he was uh, very sweet. He seems to like doing characters that have some type of um, mental disorder. Yeah, this this like character done was a few times. Yeah, this character for me was pretty much no different. It was a bit pulled back in terms of he wasn't as large with some of the things, but the majority of the affectation and the behavior reminded me of the character from the movie with Sri Devi and Rajnikanth that we saw. His character in that? Mm-hmm. Oh, no, he I plays don't. a simpleton. Yeah, who it just pretty much reminded me of that character. The one in that film, mm. he's a bit bigger with the behaviors, mm -hmm. but I saw the same behaviors just in small scale. Mm. Yeah, um, I didn't make that connection. Maybe I just don't remember that film as well. Um, I remember liking that film. Yeah, I I, we, we, I I liked that film a lot. Um, but no, I, I enjoyed his performance. I, I also really uh, enjoyed, and it was a pretty big part because it kind of came in just all the time, was the music of this, which was by, obviously, Raja Sir. Um, and it was, I, mean, I don't know what instrument he was playing, but it was basically a violin that yeah. obviously came through yeah. um, and, and all that kind of stuff. And I thought that the... the um, and there weren't any really big numbers in it. It was a lot of just smaller. And it, once again, it's really unfortunate. It happens all the time with classics. The songs were not subbed. Yeah. It happens. And I look all over and I try to find them. And it's just that the only ones that are available are are the ones without sub. Why? <laughs> like, I, I just... It, <laughs> It will always confound us. It doesn't make any doesn't sense. Doesn't make any sense. To me. You sub the film. Why didn't you sub the song? <laughs> Especially since the songs are easier to sub because it's going so much slower uh, than the spoken word. It just doesn't make any It doesn't sense. make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. No. Uh, but no, I, I enjoyed that part uh, of the film. Um, and so yeah, just talk about uh, the performances here. It, did you. I We already talked about Kamal a little bit. Did you mm -hmm. like her performance? I liked her. I didn't. There was nothing about her performance for me that was uh, – there were a lot of points for everybody, not Kamal. The only thing about Kamal was that the character reminded me of other characters, and I wasn't sure if we were going autism, if we were going mental uh, inefficiency, if we were going brain injury – uh, but for her, as well as a lot of the other cast, she didn't do it as much, but there were moments, especially in her dying sequence, where I just didn't believe what I was seeing. So uh, she's very lovely on screen. However, there were just moments throughout where I couldn't stay connected because I I saw an actor acting. I didn't see a, a human being experiencing. Well, even if it, for the time that it was? Like... Even for the time that it was, because I can think of other classics that we saw back then that may have had moments where I was disjointed, but at least I felt connected and caring and believed mm -hmm. some moments. Um, but, uh, there wasn't anything... Well, the dying sequence was hard. Uh, but the, the, the rest of it for me, and there were some other characters that we could talk about in a little bit. Mm -hmm. She seems very lovely and she's very pretty on screen. There was just nothing about the performance for me that jumped out at me. I will tell you one thing that jumped out at me was the sex song. I really enjoyed that. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> and it's, I don't know if it's Kamal. Obviously, this is the, not his film, but he seems to be at the forefront a lot of times of those. Yeah, like, almost every film we see. But he, literally, the first thing comes she up. does, and I, it, was, it caught me and my wife both up. <laughs> he had a cut, and she just went. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh shit. And then they literally went right into uh, hardcore sex song. Uh, yeah. A <laughs> song. <laughs> but I just, I was not expecting Well, that's like actually a, a the, subplot. Like, and she they, basically went, Oh, wow. <laughs> there, there was a subplot from there on afterwards that most people don't know. She's a vampire. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, Didn't know if you knew that. No, I, uh, I, I really enjoyed that whole scene. was great. I loved that scene. Uh, <laughs> I was just, I was not expecting it uh, because I, did, I was like, I didn't even know if they were going to consummate their marriage ever or if it was just, you know, uh, sh 
almost like a, a mutual relationship. So people mm -hmm. would treat her bad or, or stuff like that. And yeah. so I never knew if they would actually end up, you know, doing it doggy style, you know, but they did. Uh, and <laughs> well, I don't know. If they, I, they didn't show that. Unfortunately, I would have liked to have seen that. Yeah. And that, but Kamal being doggy. Uh, that was something that, um, that was something for me that miss was, was missing as well. I, there, I didn't have, you know, sparks or fireworks or chemistry that for me equated a rooting for or even an expectation of them to be romantically linked. I saw them caring about each other, but I didn't see anything. Well, I think that was that ign moment igniting. That it, it ignited. I yeah, think but was... I didn't see anything pre preceding that for me that that in indicated to me that they were both sexually attracted to each other. Other than her saying his face was like the moon early on well i think uh uh first like earlier i don't think they i mean it's hard to tell with him obviously since he has some type of mental disorder yeah and so it, it's it's more difficult to there but i don't think she was at first attracted to him i think she was more no um wanting obviously help from she saw that he was a nice person and everybody uh, her situation was terrible right and, even, um, and even, i think she grew to love him and i think at that moment she got the spark Right, that she was with everything that he was doing for her. The the closest cinematic approximate I think it could be comparable to would be say Jenny and Forrest, but that's as far as seeing people who consummate a relationship. Spoiler alert! Uh, but I even that that makes way more sense chemistry wise and relationship wise for me than than this did and that's that's just me i may be the only one on earth who feels that way but i just i didn't didn't catch any romantic inclinations other than just genuine caring for each other mm. so no i caught it uh and so you're dumb uh but the one other thing that i wanted to talk about the did you like the whole did you f see the pk kind of not not saying it's like pk very different film nothing really like it outside of it's a person trying to find certain things through religion uh, and the different kinds of religion, uh, which is something I, I did really enjoy about the, the story of him kind of being almost naive and trying like, to do whatever he could. People say this helps. Right. And so I'm going to do it for you. Yes. Um, I, I enjoyed that part of the story. What do you think about that? I, I, I can see that comparison as well, as I think it's a lot more subtle than in PK. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I. It's very at the forefront of the PK. The moment, the moment. Really, the if I point to a moment that actually mattered to me, and I felt a connection to, it's when he keeps running across the hot coals. That that desire of, well, if walking across the coals is going to help make a god answer this, then I'm just going to run over them over and over and over and over and over and over again. Uh, yeah, I I like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then her whole. Um I was I was nervous uh, <laughs> there at the end because I thought the uh, the the father-in-law was just going to come in and get a redemption arc, kind of like they do in Indian films a lot. Right. That, uh, just <laughs> they give people redemption arcs that I don't think deserve them. Uh, they didn't. They were about to for a second, um, <laughs> but uh, I was I was nervous there at the end because I was like, he abandoned you. Right. Do not give yeah. him a redemption arc, and then they tried to get him to go away and 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 all that kind of stuff, and that's when they did it hard doggy style. Uh, <laughs> I really enjoyed that scene quite a bit. Um, I, I do really want to find out if that is a, a Lou Arjun, so please, I'm sure it is. Let us know, yeah, down below. Um, but oh wow, that's interesting. I have Shiva. It looks like right here in the poster, mm. Shiva going down, putting the bendy on her head. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense, right? Yeah. Um, but um, I, I liked his and the boys' relationship. I and I don't. I mean, I I understand. I, it, like it was a little long in 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 parts, um, but. Um, yeah, I have a different opinion of yeah. this film than than you do, and it's it's progression as a story not just for time i just think as as a as a story its progression was extremely slow to unfold and i didn't sense any particular i i didn't have much connection to or believability toward 
the majority of the challenges that they face. And a lot of that had to do with things that pulled me out of it. For example, I don't know the character's name, but the first half of the film, he's in it quite a bit. Mm. The man who gets mad at him for wasting the oil and it's on the ground and he puts the oil yeah. on his head. Yeah. He, it was, I had a difficult time with that actor's portraying that character. I just, I did didn't believe him for one moment. I saw an actor doing stuff. And that was for the majority of the time, even even for the things where I've watched, I've ne you know, there were moments I didn't know, like when his character, when Kamal's character is older, I saw him playing an, at the beginning of film, I see him playing an older man. Um, and I always give grace to makeup and hair of the period. But I didn't see him when he was the elder character. I didn't see the same behaviors with him as far as the mental constraint that he has that he did when he was younger. It was almost as if the mental constraint seemed to not be there anymore. He just seemed to be an old guy. Oh, I don't agree. I saw that. I yeah. think he was just older. And so he was. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't, it, he was, I didn't see I think it. as young, you, he was able to move around a lot faster and, and no, yeah, saw not, it a little more. He was, not the speed with which he moved. I mean, the affectations that convey the mental incapacity. I just didn't, or even in the verbiage or certain behaviors, certain inclinations that he had with his facial expressions that I saw earlier that also reminded me of that character he played in the Sri Devi film. Mm -hmm. I, 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 even though I know he's going to be older and he's going to be slower and he's going to convey those things, which he did, there was, I didn't catch the totality through line of him being the same person in terms of his mental incapacities mm. when he was the older character. Mm. That's why when I saw him early on, you know, you see starts off the film older mm -hmm. and then it goes back to who he was as a younger man. I was thrown as to the fact that the character has something wrong with him mentally because I didn't see that one as the as the older character. I just saw an old guy. I saw that he still had mental stuff as an old man. I think he was just an old man. So you he was um I mean he even at the end ripped up the basil thing to take it with him because that's what his his wife wanted him to do. And yeah. I, I think he's just I think he was just an older man. So people obviously as they age, your dad who has mental issues, um doesn't act the same as he did when he was 20 even though he's had mental issues when he was 20 i'm, I'm assuming right? mm -hmm. he had mental issues when he was yeah 20, right um obviously i didn't know him when he was yeah 20, i'm not talking about specifically yeah but. i'm not talking about mobility or level of energy i'm talking about affectation in state of mind which also then translates into mannerism and not the speed of mannerism or the health of mannerism or the flexibility of joints just i when it flashed back to him as a young person mm. i thought oh i didn't I didn't realize this character has, and uh, that's when I looked up the character and saw it said that he had either a, a brain injury or autism, depending on which place I read, because I, I didn't see it in the character at the when he was an old man. Hmm. I disagree with. Uh, and also, depending on what, uh, this is, it says a s mentally slow man, and so... Yeah, who knows? Exactly I don't know what, what it means. It, what it was, um, which to me conveys also the fact that there's that's the third. Uh, w it, it doesn't. It's I need to be though. So who knows? yeah, I just why are why isn't there clarity on what his challenge was? I mean, it could have. I think it was more of subtle challenge than a even one of like um, the kid in uh, like Stars on Earth, who they said had dyslexia, but it was definitely autism yeah uh <laughs> yeah i don't know I, I st i'm still confused by that maybe it was just bad subtitles in in that film but when because they, they kept saying he had dyslexia uh, i know right? yeah i was like that's and a, he was clearly on the spectrum that's, i mean obviously he might also have dyslexia but right, that is not right. what his issue is no right here. <laughs> no uh, uh and so obviously that i think had a more severe case i think he probably was just somewhere on the spectrum maybe on the lower end of the spectrum um, and so, and also, or if it was a brain injury, I don't, I couldn't tell you, but yeah, I, I saw the, the, the same man as an older man and a younger man. So I, I, I don't really know what you saw there. Maybe you are blind. How about that? I just know <laughs> when I've seen other performances, when people are playing any kind of a physical or mental affectation, if it goes, I can point like to a rock. Exactly. Too, too no, I can point. I can point to examples where the character, irrespective of their age, is is behaving in a way that's the, exactly the same as the mm. character throughout. Mm. And I just, I when he was old, I didn't see it. Mm. Um, 
Make sure I got everything here. Was there anything else you wanted to talk about in the film stuff you liked? No, because like, yeah, yeah, no, because I don't, I don't I like to, to sure talk about what I didn't like. I know, but I just want to make sure we got to every, all the points of the film. Of, yeah. Of, uh, either performances, directing, writing, music. Yeah. Uh, because people often get upset if we don't talk about a certain element of the film. Yeah. And so I, I, at the end, I always try to do my checklist in my head to make sure I've talked about everything. No, you mentioned the you about. mentioned the music, and I liked the music. Mm -hmm. uh, there, I know there's what was your favorite part? Millions of the film? who love the the music. Yeah. I, for me, it it wasn't a love thing. I thought the music was good, um, but again, there wasn't anything in the film mm -hmm. that drew me made me inclined or connected me emotionally or mm. entertained in a way that other films have mm. have done mm. so my favorite <laughs> the part the part where i had some kind of a connection which made me think okay good i'm i'm connected now i can keep moving forward and hopefully this will deepen was when he ran across the coals mm. that was a moment for me that i felt a level of empathy and care and felt ah it sparked. Now we can build this up, and it'll go through. But that was really it. Just was that moment. Hmm. Um, his feet would be way more charred as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't even. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> <laughs> when I saw his feet, I'm like, hmm. <laughs> but uh, also, what do you think they? I was trying to figure. I out, was looking how, that up. I was trying to figure out how they filmed it. Did he really do that? No, he did not. I think they. It was just. Because I was trying to figure out what they did there. I think it's just, it was like maybe a darkened saying and under the... Lit from under? Lit from under is what I was thinking. I don't know. That. He definitely didn't do it. Because once again, his feet would have been extremely I would hurt. Well, but there are people who can do that. And Well, yeah, but... Yeah. I, I, I mean, Kamal can do a lot of things. He can. But, uh, <laughs> Who knows? Maybe maybe he, he did, did it. He did not actually run across goals <laughs> 10 times. Uh, anyways, let us know what you thought about the film. What should be our next uh, Telugu film uh, from this director or others? And what should be our next Kamal Hassan film uh, that we should watch? Please let us know. And uh, once again, Om Shanti to uh, 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 say his name for me. To V, and again, if, if I, I know I'm mispronouncing it, to K Vishiwat. Uh, Vishawana. I I can't pronounce it correctly. I, see, uh, I haven't heard it pronounced enough times. Legendary director. Yeah, forgive me. And uh, uh, somebody a lot of people love. So Om Shanti to you and thinking about your family. Goodbye. <laughs>